Hey guys, it's Kimmy here and I just washed my hair so that's why it's kind of all over the place. But I, as you can tell, I'm back home. I literally just went for the weekend to go to LA for a couple shows. And the first show that I'm going to talk about is the Geary Boy and Black Nut show out in LA. It was hosted by West K Entertainment and it was part of the K Hip Hop Fest 2007. They performed on the 24th in Los Angeles at the Live 333 place. I have to do a little bit more information before I can give you like a 100% chance of that. But I had the meet and greet so I got to take a photo with him which I will insert right here. And I also got their autograph. As you can see I got them to put my uh, nickname Kimmy. And it was kind of funny, um, cause as you can tell it's written in the same color that Gary Boy signed it and I feel so bad for this boy. I don't know if it's just cause I was like a little nervous when I was meeting him, but when like they asked out like to who to make it out, he was like, my name's Kimmy, K-I-M-I, -I, and Gary Boy was just like, like eh. and I was like, Kimmy, K-I-M-I. And he still looked a little confused, so I was like, K, I, N, I. And he was literally writing out the letters K, I, M, I. And then, you know, like after he did his little signature, he gave it to Black Nut. And Black Nut signed it and he put a little heart. I'm pretty sure he puts a heart on all of them. But I think that's like a really cute. And I actually really like both their signatures. They're like... They're better than what mine would look like. But anyway, let's get to the actual show, right? Now, the show had quite a few opening guests. Um, it has, like, all of the openers down here. Now, this isn't the order that they went in. But um, I'll have to look at the other thing to see who started first. Now, I couldn't take my camera. Or, I could have taken it. But with how many people were there and with how expensive this camera is, I got kind of scared that it would fall, it would break. But I don't think I could have taken it anyway because of it's a DSLR camera and it strictly said like no DSLRs. Like you can take small DSLRs, which I guess this could have counted as a small DSLR, but I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to like have them tell me no you can't take this in and then I am shit out of luck because this is a pretty expensive camera and I don't want anything to happen to it if that makes any sense. So anyway the opening acts were amazing. They had um, locals, they had some from San Diego, they had some from other record labels and to my surprise one of Kirk uh, label mates from Psychedelic Records was actually there and performed. He was pretty good. And he actually announced that he's going on Show Me The Money 6. So I will definitely be showing my support for him. Jim and I was there. Apollo Woko was there. Young Demi was there. Justin Park was there. Like just a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of opening acts was there. And... They were all really good. I couldn't pick one over the other that I like. They all had like a amazing stage performance, like stage presence. They got the people like hyped up.
competition, R.I.P. Leaving dead and gone like just a timber lake in T.I.P. And then Geary Boy came out. Gary Boy is a rapper and a producer out of Korea and he's worked with a lot of like famous rappers and then after Gary Boy like made his little introduction he was like hi I'm Gary Boy I am a producer I am a rapper hi like I was really cute anyway after he performed Black Nut came out of nowhere <laughs>
Like, I was not expecting Black Nut to, like, just pop out. It was like he popped out of thin air. But that boy moves around way too much. But it was great. They both had, like, a amazing stage presence. They performed together. They hyped each other up. They were acting silly on stage. But they were still, like, super, super professional. So, after the whole concert was over... Those who had a VVIP, like the whole like meet and greet and got their signatures and photos and all that, um, you got free entry to the after party that was happening at Club Bound. Now, thankfully, since I was staying at the Line Hotel, I it was like a three minute walk, so that was fine. My friend and I went back to the hotel, dropped ourselves off, changed our clothes, and we went to the after party and we got in free because we had the white wristband. Obviously, I don't have it on right now. I have it back in my room with the actual ticket. So, we go in and we get a couple of drinks and, you know, just chill, hang out. Gary Boy was set to perform a little after midnight and that was great. The music was really, really great. The music was great. Um, we did have a couple drinks, and I forgot how expensive it is to drink in LA. Like one little, one little cup, maybe like that big, was like twelve bucks. So that was pretty expensive, and I had, I had two. My friend had two, so we were just like you know bumping around, and I could see some of the artists that performed were walking around, and then, like my friend went off to the bathroom. For like a minute, so I was by myself, and I ran into Kirk, and he and I like hugged and we talked for a few minutes, and he invited me back to his table. And my friend was still in the bathroom. I don't know what she was doing. I think she may have gotten a little, a little sick. But or no, there was a line to the bathroom because there's always a line in the females' bathroom. Anyway, he was like, "Who are you with?" And I jokingly said, "Oh, I'm here by myself. My friend's in the bathroom." So I went to like his little area and talked with him for a couple minutes. I told him I didn't know he was in LA and he goes, yeah, I'm in LA for two weeks and I'm going back to Korea for two weeks. And I was like, dope. Like, that's pretty cool. We talked for a few minutes and my friend started like hitting me up and I was like, hey, I'm going to go back to my room because it was like 1.30 by this point and they closed down at 2. So my friend and I left and I ran into Gemini and I got a picture with him and I'll insert that here. And he was actually pretty chill. Like, he was pretty dope. i definitely going to check out more of his music. So then my friend and I walked back to the Line Hotel, up to our room. And she just passed straight out. Because she didn't really have to worry about uh, contacts. And obviously, I wear contacts. So she passed out with her makeup on. But her skin isn't that bad. So it didn't really hurt her. 
we passed out and slept till the next morning. My overall experience at the Geary Boy Black Nut Show and the promoters for West K Entertainment, my overall experience with them was fantastic. They were very organized. They had like everything in place that they needed to do. They were very helpful in my questions because when I first walked into the venue, I didn't get a wristband for the after show and I talked to one guy, he told me to go to another guy and then they told me to go to like the front door guy, show him my ID and I would get a wristband. So that was all like super smooth. They knew exactly who I needed to talk to and figure out this issue. It was probably one of the best organized shows I've been to in a while and I've been going to LA for six years for different shows. So yeah, that's my little review about the um, Gary Boy Black Nut show. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have like a full like detailed review on my Instagram. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have a video about my experience with the Jesse, so Jesse show tomorrow so if i'm either wearing the same thing or if i look a little different it's a different video so thanks for watching please remember to like favorite and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye guys